Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new SBC Lucas Paqueta card to review today. We're taking a look at a card who is 5'11". Ooh, 5 star skills. Oh, they actually gave him skill moves. Interesting. So 5'11", high, high work rates, left footed, 5 star skills, 3 star weak foot. I mean, he has the pace. Base card stats for defense... Yeah, it's set up pretty good, actually. Let's see what this card actually looks like on a shadow, because on a shadow, I feel like he'd be really sick, to be honest. Let's see. So Lucas Paqueta, oh, I can't even put it on a shadow, but yeah, he's been working with 93 acceleration with a 95 for sprint speed, which is actually pretty good for the meta of the game with high stamina at a 91. In-game player traits, he actually has the dives into tackles traits, which... In the past, I feel like has been super noticeable with players just being really, really good defensively. The outside foot shot trait is actually really nice, too. I've actually scored some nice goals with his uh, Player of the Month card for that review. So uh, for the moment, it definitely looks really cool. Dynamic picture is really sick. Uh, base card stats for shooting as a midfielder, also very, very good at 91, 85, 87, 85. So very good stuff there. Nothing to complain about. So base card stats for passing, also very good on the card. With Paqueta in-game... We are going to be working with a an average body type, which is not bad because with the average body type, he's going to be working with the 90s with that average body type and a 5'11 height. So the thing is that I know that he doesn't have defensive stats, but let's just say, for instance, you were to use this card in a 4 high, high work rates, right? He would probably be your little bit more, you know, attacking oriented CDM, right? So it'd be him next to somebody else, probably like a Verratti or something, because he actually has a really nice physical presence in game uh, because he has physical stats, average body type at a 5'11 height. So some really good stuff there um, with the shadow chemistry style on Paqueta. They just updated it. He's going to be working with some very decent defensive stats. But the most important thing here for a card like this is going to be the shadow chemistry style on him with the high defensive work rate, because that's usually the most important thing, right? So uh, the card does look really good. I'm curious to see how much he ends up costing. Three squads doesn't look too bad so far, and the links are fantastic for him. So uh, yeah, just going to go ahead and complete the SBC, and uh, we'll see how he performs in-game after. Okay, guys, so we just finished doing the uh, pack opening stuff. Uh, if you guys didn't check out the video, I can tell you this right now, not a great SBC. Cause there's not like a lot of promo cards you know like there's there's not really much going on like you can maybe get a team of the year but no one's packing any team of the years in those bad boys if you do then you're just incredibly lucky uh but for the paqueta review guys we are going to be using ranners uh 70 and no this is a little bit too high i think he has it on this on 50 i don't think he touches this and that's like that 50 40 might be correct yeah and then paqueta has to be here and then you're the one on stay back. I have to take this off. And then do that. And then you're on stay back. You are come back, get into the box. Yep, yep, yep. And then the top one will also be come back, drift wide. Stay back, stay back. Perfect. Okay, let's try them out. Okay, let's see your dribbling on the ball first. Guys, I will say that his body type, that's going to be good defensively, man. Like, that's always really nice to have. Oh, not there. Let's switch off of him here, see how he tracks back. With his high work rates, switch to him here. Slide challenge. Oh, I put way too much power. The reason why I put more power into the strike, guys, is because they approach the ball with more venom. So I know that he'll actually reach it if there's a lot of pressure on him, right? Look around switch. First time. Good finish. Good, good finish. Love that. Tackle. Oh, that's a little bit weird. No, Paqueta, no chance. Oh, we got that one at least. I wish it was like pushed forward though, you know? So because he has that trait, guys, like the outside foot shot trait, I'm telling you guys this right now, his long range distance strikes from that animation is actually very, very solid. 
I know this because of the player of the month. They hit a few bangers uh, with those bad boys. All right, let's switch off of him here. I'm going to use a Cardi. Track this. So again, you can see that his high defensive work rates makes him track back pretty quickly. So if he's your more aggressive, you know, attacking oriented CDM, you know that his high defensive will push him back pretty quickly. Hmm. He does go for an animation, but pretty far away from the player. Sheesh, give me those five star skills, my boy. Little ball roll. Wait for the commit. There it is. Try to get the pass off there. I should have done a lob pass instead, actually. It would have been better. Good block, good block. He's actually positioned really well for that and does well there, too. Try to do a first time uh, weak foot pass on a driven. Not crazy, not crazy. <laughs> It is nice to have the skill moves, but it's not like uh, it, it's just for the elastical because the elastical just carries this insane momentum when it comes to attacking. That's just like really helpful. Like it's literally more helpful than dribbling in some cases. That one was a green time shot. More power behind the strike could actually be really good right there. Yeah, he definitely hits the ball well, especially if I green them. Position well to uh, to get that ball there. Not too bad. His high, high work rates is very noticeable for sure. Okay, so no interception there. Sometimes players that are like really good in the midfield, they just literally intercept everything. Patrick Vieira is like higher rated cards do that constantly. Yeah, so it's good right there is that I was committing a lot of players forward to kind of see how he would track after players. And to be fair, he actually did a really good job there with his high defensive uh, work rates. Get a block off there, too. A weak foot pass there, not bad. They call him Paqueta in the game. I don't know, man. Brazilian is... I'm pretty sure it's Paqueta. Could be wrong, though. That cancel thing is like crazy. See, it's just it's just the it's the extra momentum that it carries, you know. Penalty, no pen. A E A. Okay, okay, okay. I see you, I see you. I don't think you got the ball there, my G. See, I'm telling you guys, man, Mbappe in the side areas, he just, he works so well there, dude. Especially with Icardi in the team, too. It just, it's perfect in that area. Nice job, Paqueta. My boy. That's a white time shot from a fair, fair distance away. See, even though I was pushing out uh, Fofana there in that situation, like he was the one that was attacking, Paqueta does still track back. So even though his defensive stats are low, guys, he does have the high defensive work rate to really work back there. Oh, he actually got that last second flick off. Not bad. Ooh, nicely done. I'm actually going to commit him here. We're going to use a fullback and then first time pass. Oh, EA! You ruined the play for me, my friend. My friend, you ruined my friend. Oh, I thought you were still going to get it. Get it, Paqueta. No. Aw, oh, maybe I should have done a regular pass instead. Oh, hello. Shoot. Yes. The reverse elastico. Or was that the regular one? I yeah, it was on his left foot, so I think it was.
Ooh, we missed that one, though. Missed that one. Yeah, like, his, his track back is perfectly fine, guys. It's that high defensive work rate. Like, I overcommitted him like crazy there just to kind of, like, test it out, and he still did well. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Lucas Paqueta card. So in regards to how he performs in-game, guys, the Shadow Chemistry style obviously makes the most sense because of the pace boost that you give him, as well as the defensive boost to play in the midfield position, okay? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I actually enjoy using this card for the meta of the game because, one, he has five-star skills. So that's super fun to work with, especially for a midfielder that has high, high work rates that can attack and that can defend because we're using this 4-2-3-1 tactic from Ranners, right? And the thing that I'm noticing a lot with his card is that, yes, his attacking positioning is high, but you'll probably notice that more if you're using him in an actual center mid position. But in the CDM area... He just balances himself out really nicely and really pinpoints when he should attack and when he should defend really well. Like, I'm forcing things out of the card, but he still positions himself well on the pitch. Now, I will say that you obviously notice the lack of defensive stuff a little bit because of the base card stats for defense being as it is, right? If we take a look at the Fofana card, right, just the player of the month version as well. He has 90 standing tackles, 81 sliding tackles, defensive awareness at a 78. Defensive awareness is not the issue because when you give a card like this a shadow and he has the high defensive work rates, the more important thing is the rest of the, de the defensive stuff, right? The interceptions, the standing tackles, the sliding tackles. So I do think that a card like Fofana will definitely defend better than the Paqueta card, but I still think the Paqueta defends well considering the fact that you know, I don't think you're unlocking a card like this to be a defensive monster for you, right? Because of his base card stats set the way that it is. It's the same situation as me unlocking an Awar, right? And looking at his defensive stats on a Shadow Chemist style and be like, yeah, I want him to be my more defensive player. No, that's not the purpose of the card, right? The purpose of a Paqueta is to use him next to someone like the Fofana card or like a Conte or something like that, being on the balance instruction and having a really good balance in the team pushing forward and coming back with his high, high work rates, really good stamina, but still offering a decent defensive capability for you in that midfield position. So for me personally, guys, on a 4-2-3-1 formation, him playing on the balance instructions, I personally enjoyed using him. I think the SBC is really cool for the price range that it's at for the meta of the game, considering the fact that he gets amazing links, especially with the Neymar card, right? Leon links as well because of Alwar and stuff. So there's just so many variables to work with when it comes to this Lucas Paqueta. And the thing is, too, guys, is that for Team of the Year, they're going to keep releasing SBCs where you're going to constantly get fodder as well. So it brings down the price of the card uh, a little bit more, which is great because I think the card is going to be out for, I think it's like two weeks. And I think two weeks is very, very fair for what he offers in game. So I enjoyed using him. I love the variable of the five star skills being added to the card because obviously with the last version, he didn't have the skills, right? So the skill moves, guys, is always going to be really, really cool to work with for the meta of the game. So I like the SBC personally, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.